Baruch Haba. Welcome. It's time once again for Hebrew, for Ivrit. The name of our Torah portion this week is Ki Tavo, and it means when you enter in. Let's open our class today by reading Deuteronomy chapter 26, verses 1 and the beginning of verse 2. Vehaya ki tavo el haaretz asher Adonai Elohecha noten lecha nachala virishta veyashavta ba velakachta mereshit kal pri. And the translation is, And it shall be when you enter in to the land that Adonai your God gives to you as an inheritance, and you possess her, and you dwell in her, you shall take from the first of all the fruit. Okay, our first line, Vehaya, and it shall be, Kitavo, when you enter in, El, to, Haaretz, the land. Remember, a he in front of a word means the, Haaretz, the land. Next line, Asher Adonai Elohecha, that the Lord your God. Third line, Noten Lecha Nachala, gives to you as an inheritance, a Nachala. Virishta means, and you possess her, Veyashvata Ba, and you will dwell in in her. Do you recognize the root yud, shin, vet in the word vayashvita? It is derived from the verb yashav, which means to sit or to dwell. Vayashvita means and you dwell. Ba means in her. The last line velakachta and you will take mereshit from the first. Remember, a mem in front of a word means from. So mereshit means from the first. Kal pri, of all the fruit. I want to skip back one word, mereshit. Do you recognize any sound from that word, mereshit? It sounds a lot like Bereshit, doesn't it? In the beginning. Bereshit, in the beginning. Mereshit, from the beginning or from the first. Okay, let's look at our related words. The first word, bo, means come or enter. It's a command. The next word, ba bivrit, means to enter a covenant. Ba bidivrim imo means to enter into words with him. Let's take a look at that last word of the third line, imo. Im means with, and then here again we have the use of the pronoun him. It is a vav at the end of a word and it is pronounced o. Therefore, imo means with him. Next, we have the words Baruch Haba. Do you recognize those? Certainly, you've heard those quite regularly on our lessons. They mean welcome. However, I like the literal translation of Baruch Haba. It means blessed is the one who comes. So when you see someone walk in the front door of your home and you say Baruch Haba, you're giving more than just a greeting of welcome. You're actually giving a blessing. You're saying, blessed is the one who comes. Baruch haba. Lashana haba'a means the coming year. Ba la'olam means to be born or to come to the world. And last we have the world to come. Ha'olam haba. Okay, we're nearing the end of our studies and I'm going to do it to you again this week. It's time for a pop quiz. I will draw from this root word, ba, which means to come, 
And I would like for you to translate for me this sentence. Hamashiach ba. Did you understand? If you did, kola kavod. Good job. I said, ha mashiach ba. Well, we know the word ba means come or coming. Ha mashiach means the Messiah. So if we say to one another, ha mashiach ba, we are saying the Messiah is coming. Tell me, Deem, this is true. Surely he will come soon and we will all enter Ha'olam Haba, the world to come. Many blessings on your week Haba, on your week to come. Leitraut, bye!